Drama has a long history at Hagerstown Community College. In 1947, only a year after Hagerstown Junior College opened its doors, speech and drama teacher N.S. Boyer and a group of students led by Jack Spielman created HJC's first theater group, The Footlighters. Though HJC lacked its own facilities at the time, and the troupe had to work around scheduling conflicts at the old Hagerstown High School where HJC began, the spirit of the dramatic arts at HJC was born. In 1966, HJC moved to its current campus on Robinwood Drive. Dr. Atlee Kepler, then president of HJC, felt strongly that students should be able to participate in campus activities beyond athletics. His desire became a reality when the auditorium in the new classroom building became the home of the performing arts at HJC for more than a decade. In an effort to reinvigorate the dramatic arts, then speech and drama teacher Barbara Guiney worked with her students to reorganize the drama program and the Robin Wood Players were born. In 1978, a new structure, later named the Kepler Theater, opened as the first standalone arts facility on campus and it doubled the amount of performance space. The focus remained, however, on theater and chorus. The college's visual arts department was located in a different building and the applied music program occupied space wherever available. Through the years, a collaboration between the arts at HCC has flourished and the program has grown significantly. The number of productions increased, musicals became a major part of the program, and many key faculty and staff have contributed greatly to the success of the program. In 2012, the Performing and Visual Arts Education Center opened and brought together, for the first time in the history of the college, all the performing and visual arts in one location. The renovated Kepler Theater, new art studios, gallery, music rooms, black box theater, and dance space truly make it a unique facility. In the early years, we, we had the traditional um, art courses spanning painting and drawing and sculpture and soon after that um, we added drama to the curriculum and that occurred during Atlee Kepler's time here at the college and Dr. Shea really focused on expanding into the area of music education and uh, when I came to the college the only remaining piece was dance so I was very pleased to add that to the curriculum and support that with the renovation to the Kepler Theater that we completed a couple of years ago. These spaces are helping to attract new students and creating exciting synergies between organizations such as the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts and the Maryland Symphony Orchestra. Um, I've known Tom Newcomer since I first visited Hagerstown uh, and he has since those eight years been a constant advocate for the arts ever since I've known him. Uh, not only that but he's a sort of a, 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 an embodiment of the patron, the artistic thinker, the creative individual, the, uh, the problem solver and the optimistic soul who Sees, sees things not as problems, but as opportunities. Well, Tom and his entire family have been involved in the community for many years. He served on just about every arts nonprofit board in leadership positions. And so the family has also been very supportive, as has his business, to arts endeavors within the community, both from his participation, allowing his employees to participate, but also financially, he's made significant commitments to a lot of the nonprofit organizations in the arts community. The residents of Washington County have a rich tradition of engaging in and contributing to the arts. The Maryland Theater, Washington County Museum of Fine Arts, Washington County Arts Council, Potomac Playmakers, and the Maryland Symphony Orchestra were established decades ago and still thrive today. 
I mean, the facilities here at the community college are outstanding in supporting the arts with everything here in the Kepler Theater, having the Barbara Ingram School for the Arts in downtown, and I think the commitment that the community has made in general with through the museum, through the Arts Council, through the Maryland Symphony Orchestra, all the different theater groups, it's just uh, a great community for the arts, and I think the future is bright. Well, when I think of Tom Newcomer, I think of a extraordinary citizen in Washington County. It seems all good things that have occurred in the county over the last couple of decades have involved Tom Newcomer. He has served on many of our uh, local boards, boards that are committed to serving people in our county. He has been a champion of the arts. He's been a champion of education both public education and private education in our county. And anyone who has worked with Tom knows it's an absolute pleasure to enjoy his collaborative dialogues and his keen sense of what is most important in uh, serving as a policy-oriented board member. Tom is one of the most generous art patrons in the community. He, he does all manner of giving. He gives his time, he gives his ideas, he gives his leadership, he gives his happiness and his ability to motivate other people. Um, he's so good at uh, sort of spreading out the word, you know, in terms of a wonderful thing that's happening. He was one of the first advocates I know of the Downtown Arts and Entertainment District and worked very long and hard on that. He was a great advocate of the Barbara Ingram School when it was founded. Um, he continued to be a great supporter of the Maryland Symphony Orchestra. And, you know, he supported art on a personal level too, when his daughter is an artist. So he's just, it's been embedded in his, his sort of psyche, I think, for so many years. And he knows how to help us all get better better at what we're doing. The vision and support of our former citizens established a legacy of artistic opportunity for all of us to enjoy. The Performing and Visual Arts program at Hagerstown Community College is an important and valued part of this tradition and will continue to be for decades to come.